Hi everyone. Welcome to my class. My name is Molly and today we're going to be running through an adaptive sun A. If you're unfamiliar with yoga, your sun A is going to be the beginning part to your flow. It's the first section and typically your yoga instructor is going to run through it around two to three times. This is going to warm up our body for the remainder of the class. So to start, I like to make sure that I'm balanced and seated in my chair. When an able-bodied person sits down, they stick their butt out and they make sure that everything's underneath them. You know, if we're in a wheelchair or um, we have limited mobility, we might be sliding into seats a lot. And we need to make sure that we have everything underneath us, that our body's in the right place, that our hips are square, that our feet are um, placed forward uh, in our on our foot plate or on the ground that they are stable you know just because we aren't using our legs doesn't mean they don't give us a great deal of stability so we want to make sure that we feel stable and then i like to just wiggle around for a second to make sure that i am stable in my chair awesome job you guys so we're going to go ahead and get started here so on our sunday we're going to start with our arms in the air so inhale arms up if we want to challenge our balance gaze can follow our fingertips Exhale, hands coming to the corners of our chair. We're gonna forward fold here. One vertebrae at a time, very slowly, slowly, watching your balance, being careful. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Awesome job. Inhale, we're bringing our hands back to the corners of our chair and we're slowly bringing our body up to a 45 degree angle keeping our elbows tucked into our rib cage, our face is pointed toward the ground, and we're facilitating a straight spine, a long line of energy from our tailbone all the way through the crown of our head here. Awesome job, you guys. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come back to the ground. Inhale, bringing our hands back up, tucking our elbows into our rib cage to protect our shoulders. We, as you wheelchair users, are always wanting to protect our shoulders. Sitting back up, and I want you to come to a straight seat, okay? So what I mean by that is that your arms are straight, that we're guiding our chest through our arms, that we're dropping our shoulder blades down and back our spine, that we're pulling our shoulder blades together, and that there's a long line of energy from the crown of our head all the way through to the bottom of our tailbone. Awesome job, you guys. Now we're gonna do our chaturanga, which is our tricep push-up. We're tucking our elbows into our rib cage and we're slowly lowering down. This should be hard, you guys. This is a tricep push-up. Exhale, lowering to the ground, letting your arms hang here. Inhale, bringing your hands back to the corners of your chair, tucking your elbows into your rib cage. Again, coming to that 45 degree angle, your gaze can be looking toward the ground. Neck is in a neutral position. We're pulling our shoulders down and back. Again, because we aren't using our legs and we are sitting in a chair, some of these postures are gonna look familiar and that's okay. We're still getting the flow. We're still feeling strong here. Awesome job, you guys. Exhale. That was our cobra or up dog coming down again. So again, we'll come one more time. We'll come up, inhale. Just so you can see our cobra or up dog one more time. This can be either one from us. We're keeping our elbows bent at a 45 degree angle here. Our neck is in a neutral position. We're rolling our shoulder blades down and back our spine. We have a long line of energy coming from our um, crown of our head all the way through our tailbone. Awesome job, you guys. Exhale, lowering down. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale our hands back to the corners of our chair again. And this time we're gonna drive our hands into our chair and push through the palms of our hands. Our gaze is looking toward our lap right now, but we're straightening out those arms. We're pushing back. But what I want us to do this time is we're really pulling our shoulder blades apart here. So we're not dropping our shoulder blades together. We're pushing back through our arms. We're pulling those shoulder blades apart. We're sucking our belly button into our spine. I can really feel a tightness here. And if you can't activate that cord, that's okay. Just imagine what that might feel like. When I'm activating that and I'm pulling my belly button to my spine, I really feel a pull on all sides here. 
I really can feel that my belly button is trying to suck in and really I, you can't tell on screen. I cannot actively suck it in, but I can feel it internally. I know it exists. So that's what we're doing here, strengthening that mind-body connection. So again, this is our down dog position. We're pulling those shoulder blades apart. Our elbows are straight. We're actively pushing through our palms. We're pulling that belly button to our spine. We're just holding it here. Maybe as other people possibly pedal out their feet or their elbows, we're gonna start dropping one shoulder to the side, straightening out, dropping another, kind of just getting a little movement our own way at this point. Everyone else in the class might be pedaling out their feet. That's okay, we're pedaling out our shoulders because actually our shoulders are what we're using to be mobile now, right? With wheelchairs. Awesome job, you guys. Exhale, forward fold, slowly lowering down. Awesome job, you guys. Inhale, slowly rise up one vertebrae at a time. I want the last thing to follow, again, to be your head. Awesome job, you guys. So again, this Sunday is gonna be a balance challenge. We are taking forward folds here. So if you do need assistance, or if you have a friend or family member around that could come assist you, your caretaker, um, they would be able to help you facilitate getting into those postures. Um, so make sure that you have whatever you need, whatever equipment you need to make you feel successful. Okay, you guys. So again, we're going to run through that one more time. We're going to go a little bit faster this time. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale. Hands come to the corners of our chair, tucking our elbows into our rib cage, guiding our chest through our arms. We're slowly, one vertebrae at a time, lowering down into our forward fold. Awesome job, you guys. Again, exhale down, inhale, bring your hands back to the corners of our chair. We're gonna come back in that 45 degree angle, keeping our elbows tight into the rib cage, keeping the elbows bent, gaze is looking to the ground, long line of energy from our tailbone all the way through the crown of our head and we are pulling those shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, forward fold. Awesome job, you guys. Inhale, coming up again, tucking those elbows into the rib cage as we slowly one vertebrae at a time sitting up, straightening those arms out, shining the chest through our biceps. Awesome job, you guys. And gaze is looking just straight ahead, neutral neck here. So this time we're gonna do our chaturanga, it's our tricep push-up. We're tucking our elbows into our rib cage. And you guys do these all the time. You already know what this is. I'm just teaching you the proper terminology. So this is our chaturanga, tucking our elbows into our rib cage and slowly, 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 slowly burn out those triceps. This should be hard. Lowering ourselves down to the ground. Awesome job, you guys. Letting our um, arms hang for a second here. Inhale, bring your arms back up to the chair. We're coming into our cobra or our up dog. So again, tucking the elbows into the rib cage, guiding the chest up forward, staying at this 45 degree angle, long line of energy again from the tailbone all the way through the crown of the head. The spine is straight here. We are guiding our chest through our biceps. We are rolling our shoulders down and back our spine. And our neck is, our gaze is just looking toward the ground. Awesome job, you guys, again, forward fold. Letting the arms hang long. And then on our next inhale, bringing our hands once again to the corners of our chair, tucking our elbows into our rib cage. And this time we're gonna push through our palms to straighten out our arms. We're really rounding out through the back. We're pulling the belly button into our spine. Our back looks like a C right now. We're hollowing out our stomach and we're pulling our shoulder blades apart from one another. So our shoulders are rounded out. Our gaze is looking into our lap right now. Awesome job, you guys, really working to pull those shoulder blades apart from each other. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Exhale, again, tucking those elbows into the rib cage. Forward fold. Letting the arms hang heavy here. And then inhale, again, coming back up to standing. Slowly one vertebrae at a time, rolling up keeping those elbows tucked. And then again, the last thing to follow is going to be our chin. So awesome job, you guys. That was our son A. I would love for you guys to practice this, feel empowered when you go out into the community. If you go to a park, 
to your yoga studio, whatever. Feel empowered to get back out there. Feel empowered to kick butt, be front row, show people up because you're amazing, we're amazing, and um, you know, everyone's level of yoga is different. It doesn't matter um, who you are. You know, I would be looking over at someone on the mat next to me prior to my injury and I would think, oh my gosh, that person is killing it. How are they doing that posture? And you know, I would feel a little bit inadequate, but you know what? We need to lose those feelings of inadequacy because we need to listen to our body and we can strengthen our body. We may be able to get there. We may not be able to get there, but our body will be able to do something inevitably that someone else's cannot, no matter what our limitations are. And that's what we need to remember, you guys. Awesome job today. Thank you so much for following me through this Sunday. I've had a joy teaching you.